In this video we are looking at divisibility. A number is divisible by another number if after the division has taken place there is no remainder. So to illustrate this I'm going to put down two examples. I'm going to put down 9 divide 3 and I'm going to put down 10 divide 3. Now when we do 9 divide 3 we get a nice whole number of 3. 3 fits into 9 perfectly 3 times. But when we do 10 divide 3 we're going to get a remainder. 3 fits into 10 3 times but with a remainder of 1. So we notice in one example we have no remainder while in the other example we have a remainder. Now, when there is no remainder, it is divisible. We say 9 is divisible by 3. Whereas if there is a remainder, we say it's not divisible. 10 is not divisible by 3. We can also check divisibility on the calculator. Let's say I did 10 divide 3. You'll notice that we get a decimal after our whole number. It's 3.33 and so on. So if it's not divisible, we notice that it has a decimal. So what about when it is divisible? What happens then on our calculator? Well, let's do 9 divide 3 on our calculator, you'll notice that we get a whole number. So if our solution is a whole number, then we can say it is divisible. That concludes our video just introducing divisibility. Remember to read the description below for links to worksheets that relate to this video.